Hello and welcome. This time uh, we are going to look at a container transport car set that I recently purchased. Uh, this is Märklin 47130. Um, it actually, uh, there's actually two of these. There's also uh, 47131 that matches this. Um, this is a set I actually bought uh, more or less by accident. I was looking for what I would consider a real container transport. I couldn't find it, so I did a snap and grab. And then I grabbed these ones uh, without really realizing uh, what it was. If you um, look at the box, it says down here, it's Soil Excavation Stuttgart 21 Container Transport Cars Car Set. Um, I was actually a little in doubt what was that, so I actually researched it. Stuttgart 21. Uh, seems to be a, a big project uh, in Stuttgart where they are actually changing the, the train station. Um, they are, it, it evidently has limited capacity. Uh, they don't have uh, easy access for high-speed trains and so on. So they are changing the uh, train station from um, a terminus train station with 17 tracks into an 8-track station uh, that's a through station. And it will all be underground and there will be tunnels. So they need a lot of excavation and uh, removal of dirt. So that is what this train set actually is. It's um, a POKE 6. Um, so actually in the modern era, I believe it's uh, to, modern, to portray models from 2014, I believe. So. Let's open it and see what's inside. So we have two freight cars in here uh, with containers. Um, the containers, as I understand them, are to remove the dirt and soil from the excavation of the tunnels. Uh, and all the other pro uh, dirt around the project. Um, so these are actually containers that will be able to go on um, a truck. So the idea is that you use train to transport the uh, dirt away and then you can mount these on a truck and drive it the final little bit if uh, wherever you need to get it to is not directly at the train lines. Let's uh, unwrap it. It's uh, nicely packaged. One of the uh, containers here where there's dirt inside. It looks uh, Nice and very finely detailed. You can even read what it says here on the ends, on the side. Each uh, container is individually, has individual its own ID, um, as of course does the, um, the freight cars. So let me take out the freight car. Ooh, very heavy. Um, I think it's metal. If you look at the freight car here, let's hold it still. Um, it actually kind of looks like what I would consider a regular container car. I don't know if um, that's the case. If it's a regular container car or if it's different. Uh, usually container cars have different kind of mounts. Uh, for sure these are different than what I would consider normal containers at least in size. It looks like they can nicely go on the mounts here, although I'm a little unsure where it should be. That is probably a little too close. Maybe it goes out here. Okay, so it fits nicely in there. Nice details, heavy. You can see there's details below as well, where you can see uh, brake cylinders and so on. Um, nice little handle here. You've got to be careful not breaking off. 
close guide couplers as well. I'm looking actually forward to uh, putting this one on the track. Let me do that right now. Yippee! I put the container cars on the track. So now we can do a close up and uh, see uh, how nice they are. I will uh, back up uh, a locomotive. And then we uh, drive them slowly by. Remember there was two sets, 47130 and 47131. Uh, each with two uh, container cars in them. Uh, the container cars are actually uh, very finely detailed. Uh, lots of nice prints, individual uh, model numbers or prototype IDs on each of them. Uh, each container, of course, also has uh, individual IDs. Um, and they have uh, dirt inside. So, all in all, I would say uh, pretty nice cars. And I'm uh, looking forward to uh, running them around my tracks. Let me do a drive pass at a little higher speed. Nice. So, what do I think about these two soil excavation uh, container transport sets? Well, first of all, I think it's cool with a construction container freight set. Uh, that makes them really unique. It's nice, there's a cool story about it uh, with the Stuttgart 21 project. Uh, they have nice details. Each car is unique with different IDs and prints. If you actually uh, look at them side by side, they're all a little different. Um, they are metal cars, they have a good weight, uh, which also means they have uh, excellent running characteristics. Um, the only minor minus I could put on these are that actually the containers, the truck containers themselves, they're nicely detailed and printed. However, they look a little plasticky and the dirt uh, isn't entirely convincing. Um, I'm sure that uh, somebody could weather it up to uh, look prettier. However, I would say uh, I like them, uh, really nice cars, and uh, I'm, I'm happy I got these. It was a snap and grab. I didn't really mean to get these, but I got some uh, really cool cars. Yippee!